So tonight what we're going to be painting is a very simple watercolour landscape and you're painting in watercolour for the first time then this will be a great exercise for you to do. So let's get straight into this painting. The first thing to do is to turn this painting up the other way and uh, we're going to use some yellow ochre and just do a graduated wash which means that we're going to be tilting the page up and uh, just running the paint across the top of the paper, loading up with some water and then going across again and getting a bit more water and we're just going to be, so the page is tilted so that as we run this brush across the page, gravity takes the pigment down to where that lip of water is that you can see forming. So we keep loading up with water, taking that down as you can see there's a little drip there, I can go back over that, run that over a few times. We're keeping the board tilted. And we're going to take that all the way to the bottom. And then when we get to the bottom, we're going to take off any excess water and then we're going to dry it. We really try to go and flick that brush out or wipe it on something and then just take out the excess water. So I'm using a round sable. All the things that I use will be in the description below, but I'm using a round sable. And we, we could paint this painting tonight, and I, and I will. I'll paint this painting tonight just using this one brush. So it's a size 12 round sable, uh, pure Kalinsky sable, and it's a beautiful brush. If you were to only get one brush, then this is the brush that I would suggest that you get, because it can do so many different things. Excellent. So I'll, I'll just lay that down flat now. So I'm just going to dry that now completely so that it ends up being completely flat onto the page. Let's just do that. So once that's dry, we can turn this around. Like so, and then we're going to do another graduated wash. So again, we're going to tilt up the page. Load up with cobalt blue, so the first colour was yellow ochre, the second colour is cobalt blue. Just going to take that across the top, load up with a little bit of water, take that across, load up with a little bit of water. So each time I'm putting it in the jar of water, letting a little bit of water come, a little bit of pigment fall out of the brush. and filling it up with water again. I'm not completely rinsing the colour out, although I could if I chose to. And this is a very traditional way of doing a graduated wash. Beautiful. All right, so then I flick the remaining water out, clean this up a bit. Clean up the tissue. Right, we will now dry that. Actually, before I dry it, let's just see if there's still a bit of dampness there. It is just there. I've put my thumb inside a tissue and we'll just see if we can create a little bit of the moon and we'll just bring the water colour over that with a slightly damp brush. Excellent. 
that's great. All right, let's dry that. So from my point of view, I can already start to see landscapes in this. It's, you can just start to let your mind decide what could potentially happen next and, and go with that. But I'm just going to keep this exercise very simple tonight. We're just going to bring in some uh, hills here, down into here, wash that out, and then we'll put some sort of reflection in here from, from the moon. So we're just gonna keep this very, very simple. Again, we're just going to use cobalt blue again. And again, I'm just going to tilt it up again. And we'll just bring, you could sketch this if you wanted to, but there's no real need to. Beautiful. All right, so you can mop up with a tissue, any extra water. Oh dear, we got a drop on there. <laughs> Interesting mistakes. So anyway, I'm just going to dry that, but I don't know if you can see that, there's a drop right there. Um, so if that happened on your a, a, a beautiful painting that you're working on you could either try and just leave it completely alone overnight and not use a hairdryer to dry it because if you use a hairdryer it'll jiggle the paint more and more likely to disturb it and make that mark obvious um, or you could try and paint over the top or if you wanted that to be white you could lift that out but I'm not going to do that because I've already got a moon here and another blob there wouldn't really work so I'm just gonna dry this with a hairdryer for the sake of this exercise tonight. I'll just show you for the sake of this exercise, this drop of water that landed on here, that's still not dry. If you thought, oh no, I've done a drop on there and you went to wipe it out with a tissue, this is what would happen. So that's what would happen if you went to wipe that out with a tissue, all of a sudden, you would have a white blob on there. So that's why the best thing to do is to just dry it. And I'll, I'll do something with this in a second. So let's just uh, keep going. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, 3M removable tape. Uh, magic, 3M magic removable tape onto the bottom here. Really press it down hard. I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, water to that foreground. Again, let's just keep using cobalt blue. So I'm gonna tilt it up, just run that along there. Beautiful, maybe just clean that up. Dry that. Right, I'm just going to use a metal ruler here to just sharpen up this edge here a bit. Metal ruler and a razor blade. Right, now we have to do something about this blob that we did up here. 
Let's do something a bit different. This is a very strong wash, by the way, of um, Windsor Blue Red Shade and Light Red. So this may completely destroy this painting, or might, might not, but um, let's just see how it all goes. So we just get, we've loaded up the paintbrush with that. We're just gonna run that across there like that, get that down into there like that. And then we're just gonna get the spray bottle and just spray that down like that. There we go. And if you wanted to just lift out some more lights. Some clouds. Bring some more lights in here. Just goes to show you can stuff up watercolour at any stage in your career. So this is a little bit of a stuff up this painting, but let's just see if we can rescue something from it. So what was going to be a very simple exercise in watercolour has turned into a, a you know, close to being a little bit of a close to being a little bit of a mess, but. It's still just a really good demonstration how to paint a simple landscape in watercolour. It's a very small size and hopefully that taught you quite a few things about what you could potentially do when things go a bit wrong when you paint watercolours. Thanks for joining me tonight. I, I love interacting with people and teaching people in watercolour. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget that if you want to know about my weekly videos that I produce, then press the subscribe and the bell button and you'll get notified about that. Thanks for joining me tonight and I'll see you next week. Thank you and good night.